Hello, um, good morning. So I wanted to update you on some basket weaving that I've been doing. Um, so this is dandelion stem. <laughs> I'm not super good at keeping the cordage even, so it is looking a bit wonky in places and I think that's just from like switching between thicker and thinner bits, but I think it'll turn out to look pretty sweet when it grows a bit more. But this is already quite a few meters of cordage, so I'm a bit, <laughs> I'm a bit stunned by how much it needs. Um, so I've been gathering dandelion stems like absolutely crazy. There's lots of them here on my um, heater and look how long that one is. Like this one is enormous and so is this one. I was speaking to Georgie yesterday and we were just like, oh my god, dandelions can't be like a meter long. And I was like, no, they can. That's where I've seen them. <laughs> I've collected them. Oh, and now I don't know how to put them back. Oh. Also, everything's just covered in like dandelion seeds right now, which is cool. Oh. And now they're falling everywhere. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Anyway, um, that's how it's going. I'm working to finish like a few baskets for oh a basket foraging project. I'm really just throwing things off right now. I'm gonna just fix this, but see me. Um, so I made this basket the other day. It's made of willow and it's supposed to be a backpack so this is supposed to sit on your back. Um, and I'm going to make straps out of nettle basically so today I'm going to try and get as many nettle fibres as I need. Um, so as I can not as I need I probably won't get enough.
there's so many dandelion seeds everywhere because of this basket project. Um, I'm kind of enjoying it. <laughs> but like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're really cute. Um, yeah, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say hello um, and just check in with this vlog. Um, I've been collecting materials, weaving materials, and yesterday I tried out a really nice new weaving technique. It's like an open weave, like a twisty technique. Um, I think I actually really like it. <laughs> really like wild baskets that look really like, you know? Um, and then apart from that, I've been picking lots of nettles. Um, nice fibre, beautiful beautiful fibre, but it's definitely not quite there yet with the nettles, so I am going to have to be patient. Hello, so I am just filming a little outro on my laptop because I didn't film one on my camera and yeah, also I couldn't really film everything leading up to the exhibition because one, the camera I was filming with broke mid-vlog um, and then two, uh, I was just very, very busy making all the things so I really struggled to also film it but I hope that you enjoyed having like a little peek into what it was like to put all these things together um, and yeah craft all these baskets and also I didn't even show you I realized while I was editing that the straps are actually nettle um, so you can really see them in the video but they are like completely nettle um, they're very strong because it is nettle so it holds the basket quite well on your back um, I've worn it a few times it smells incredible like the smell of willow is magical um, and I'm so proud, I'm so happy about this. Apart from that and all the little baskets I made, I also made these booklets which um, I didn't actually speak about or show you. I kind of made them quite quickly, I think in the like the week leading up to the exhibition. I knew that I wanted to do a booklet but I was really struggling to figure out what sort of format it would take and then at some point it just like clicked and it made sense to me so I had these illustrations a few others that are on my wall somewhere um, that went along with the um, baskets so for example this one here is mainly made out of daffodil so this was like where the daffodil illustration was placed with some other things that were made out of daffodil and then I had an ivy basket, or two ivy baskets, um, one out of bluebells, so there's lots of interesting things. Um, and this little booklet is just a bit about the work, and it also has illustrations of the work in it. 
and then a little bit about the, the, the thing basically um, so yeah and then there's like a little intro bit that you can read on my website I'll pop a link in the description but um, yeah and it was like put up with daffodil cordage oh dandelion cordage I always like mix those two up um, if you want to listen to the accompanying sound piece, which I also didn't speak about, but I had a little little bit in the vlog where I was recording um, me bashing the nettle and doing the nettle processing. So there is a sound piece which includes conversations with people that either forage or are interested in foraging in some way. And it also includes um, sounds of me or other people foraging. Yeah, it's quite a nice experience to just like put your headphones on, listen to it. I think it's just about 20 minutes maybe. Um, and again, you can listen to it on my website and just kind of close your eyes and have a listen, see what you think. But all of those were part of that final sort of setup. So we had the baskets, then we had the illustrations in the booklets and um, then also the sound piece so you kind of you know you get this whole experience of like oh like what am I looking at and like what is it made out of and then some sort of backstory of like sounds that I heard while I was working with these plants and while I was harvesting the things and also the conversations that I was having with people that are interested in foraging for crafts in the city for example so yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this uh again i'm sorry i didn't film as much as i would have liked to i hope to be back soon i really wanted to finish this video earlier but i've been very 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 busy and um tired so i hope you enjoy it either way and yeah take care thank you so much for watching bye